What's up, party people? Day four of the seven days to beat procrastination challenge. And today's topic is don't let things or people distract you into procrastinating. Just think about it. You wake up in the morning motivated, ready to tackle whatever it is if, that you've been procrastinating on, or maybe you're even excited about a new project. You drink your coffee, you get dressed, you get ready to go to work, and then something happens. Who knows what something is? Something always happens, right? Maybe you open an email, or worse, Facebook, get sucked into spending the next few hours on your computer, or maybe you call a friend or two, or they call you and they ask you to go shopping, or you get an alert that your favorite TV show has just dropped on Netflix. It doesn't really matter what it is. At this point, it's that there are people and things that are gonna try to distract you into procrastinating, if you let them. So there is a simple strategy that you can try to use to keep this from happening. And it's to make the important projects you've been procrastinating on a priority to work on first thing every morning. Uh, it's like a, there's a really great book about it once called Eat the Frog. And it's essentially start right away in the morning with the thing that is going to taste the most disgusting, essentially. So the whole process really starts the night before. And um, before you call it a day, just sit down and make a short little plan for what you want to get done the next day. Um, there's even a method called the Ivy Lee method where they write down your top six, but we're trying to be even more simple. Just identify your top three most important tasks. Um, these should be the things that will start to move the needle on the big projects that you're trying to work on. And maybe they're all focused on one main project. Maybe it's several things that you need to get done. Either way, write these three things down. They don't have to be big. In fact, it's helpful if they are not all big items. And if there's something you can do in less than an hour each, when you get up in the morning, go to get your coffee, go to the office, look at your list first and work on these three most important tasks before you do anything else. Don't look at your email. Don't start playing with your phone. It's possible if at all possible, don't even answer your phone or attend to meetings before these tasks are done. Make them your number one priority. This alone will make a huge difference on how your day goes. I mean, how productive will you feel if the most important things that you need to get done are done before you even answer your email? Um, and of course, it helps you keep from procrastinating on those projects because you know you have to attend meetings. You know you wanna go out with friends. You know you wanna to go to lunch. But putting them off until the end of the day when you're too tired to really do anything is just not an option anymore. So aside from that, simply being more aware of what things, devices, and people tempt you to procrastinate is very helpful. When you find yourself putting something off, just look back, see if you can pinpoint what caused it, back to a few episodes ago where we talked about awareness, and then take action toward preventing it from happening again in the future. Hopefully you guys have found this one helpful. Welcome again to day four. We'll see you again tomorrow for day five of the Beating Procrastination Challenge. Talk to you soon. Bye.